A lot of people want a seat at the finals and logged on early to get tickets today. Dozens more people lined up at the Sun's box office this morning, some of them waiting hours for the high price tickets. Brittany Thomason spoke with a few of them about just how much money they are willing to spend to see these games in person. People out here today told me they dropped $600, $700 on tickets, and those were for seats in the 200 level. They're expensive. Let's just go there. Well, they're expensive. To get in there, I'll drop, you know, five, six, seven. Sales for the finals started at 11 a.m. for the general public. Some fans waited hours just for a chance to get some seats. We've been waiting for almost 30 years for this. Like, shoot, three hours was nothing. Before noon hit, someone from the box office came outside to tell the crowd, tickets were gone. Heart racing, heart dropping, just a bunch of feelings intertwining with each other and I don't know which one to choose. Come on. With tickets sold out at the box office and online seats too expensive for George Maliga, he settled for buying Suns gear instead. Uh, going through this, it's almost kind of like a dream because it was not expected. As for those looking for seats online, this video shows Ticketmaster claiming more than 10,000 people were in front of a fan trying to buy seats this morning. One of my buddies posted that they were in line for tickets. They said that there were 7,000 people ahead of them already. Leaving those who did get tickets feeling pretty lucky. And those who didn't, just thankful for the team bringing the Valley together. It's insane feeling. It feels like it's going to be something to remember. One of the funniest things I kept hearing out here today is people were asking me not to show them on camera because they say they skipped work just to buy tickets. From Phoenix, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.